right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. John Jones, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. So Islam Akashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away tonight. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind you cannot break in front of Mahachev because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha. joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Makhachev. Islam Makhachev set to fight John Bones Jones. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, is Makacha! And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akasha. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground, where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Jones gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown. Jones is trying for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Armbar. Oh, he escapes. He got out. <laughs> wow, that is great submission defense. Beautiful transition. Makashev's got the full mount. 
way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Akashia. Well, he's got his back now. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, he got to his spot. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Islam Makhachev. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Getting the ball here. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Good work from the top here by Islam Akasha. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. He keeps the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Makashev has got full mount now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, postures up and lands a huge head strike there. Nicely done by Islam Makashev. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Just gotta be careful here. So we cross the 30 second mark in our opening round. Oh, he's got a gift in here. It's, it's tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Islam Akasha. There it is. Now he's running up. Oh, big elbow. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? You ready. Round two on the way. All right, here we go with our next round. And usually in mixed martial arts, when you're fighting off of your back, you are not winning. That said, pretty good job defensively to minimize the damage in the previous round. Yeah, he did a really, really good job of defending us. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. 
Well, sometimes our staff guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job. He's having his way with him here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Good, solid strike on the ground. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Nice shot there by the champ. Nice positional control here. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Jones. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. It's under three minutes now to go in the round. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Movement off of the back. Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Johnny Bone. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. A oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. You have to fight back. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh, good armbar attempt here. Arms in deep. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Makhachev. Making all these shots count. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there. Referee will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. He's in the mount. Another submission attempt here, and this is a good one. Now it's tight. There it is. Just when it looks like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent down with authority as the tide turns here. Jones is in half guard. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can only eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Seconds winding down in round two. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makashev. Round and pound strike lands. Round three next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward.
All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice jab there. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been there tonight. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's gonna shoot to another takedown, and I would always be willing to bet he's gonna secure it. I'll take your action. Okay. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline, he's gotta be careful. He's gotta be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Makashev's in half court. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Another strike gets through from the top position. He's got to be careful here. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Relentless pressure from the top by Islam Makasha. That was a slick transition. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Now he's going full mount. Under three minutes now to go in round three. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands being a veteran of so... He's got to be careful here. Makashev's back inside control here. Oh, right into Mount. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Makashev. Grounded pound strike there now. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, now look at the posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Islam Makashev. 90 seconds to go now. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Constantly a moving target. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. That's a lot of blood, man. I think I can smell the B-positive blood type from here. Yeah, he's bleeding. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Oh, he's got the only type. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Makashev's back in full mount. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. In the half guard. Big right hook there by the champ. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Getting them out here. 
Oh, what do we got here? It looks like an arm triangle attack. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle attack. Oh, submission work, defense work, on work, full work. display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Right. That's three rounds. Right. We're right. now right. headed to the championship round. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five, five minutes. Left. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Yep, that guillotine deep. Oh, how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Great submission defense on full display by the Oh, big shots from the top. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy who's shoot that mount now. Mm, that was nice. Back to his feet. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Jones is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. There it is. Now he's running the out. Makashev's in half guard now. Nice transition into full guard here. We'll see what he chooses to do now. He's going to be trying to pass to half or eventually get to full guard. Full mount, sorry. Hands, hands. Just over three minutes to go. He's got to start throwing now. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired. But that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grappling exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Great timing on that double leg. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Makashev's able to transition back to side control now. Great submission defense. Got to be very careful there. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Side control. Makashev's right back to the full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. This is a terrible position. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. Arm is very tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is, this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. Makashev's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he 
naked choke and he somehow gets out. We just have to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're gonna get submitted. He didn't panic. Great ground and pound by this man. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Makashev's back in full back. Under 20 seconds now to go. Setting up for an arm lock now. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Fight IQ on full display there. Recognizing he was moving the sub, elected to keep the dominant position. Oh, 20 no. minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, good stuff, good stuff. That was your round for sure. Your round, you dominated that. Same. This is the last five minutes. Of All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not going to recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. He's got no action to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling his body with his hands. That's the detail that everybody's missing. He's sitting in that half guard, and his bottom half is securing his opponent. So his top half is moving. It's adjusting. He's posting his hand on his, on his face, dropping elbows. When he's able to pull back, he's throwing his punches. There is a real, real, right. there is a real intelligence in his approach to his ground and pound. And it's truly, truly great to watch. It is unbelievable to watch a guy so skilled in such an important area of the fight. the half. Now he's going full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. Okay. How'd he take it? Well, it's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area, Danny. Well, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. The eyes are beat up. The guy's taking a beating. And the blood has to be affecting his vision at this point. This is where he wants to be. Posture's up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, another shot gets through. Doctor might have to step in soon. Oh, good ground and pound here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Johnny Bone. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anymore. I mean, I just don't need... All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, so. he loved... I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of... If you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. You've got to be careful here. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. 
Another ground and pound strike gets home. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots on that eye. I wonder if the referee's thinking about calling in the doctor now. Well, well John, the entirety of the fight, that has been the target of his opponent. He has not adjusted defensively, and now he's paying for it. Now, somebody's gonna have to save him. Oh. We might get a stoppage here. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Akasha. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Oh, he got to his spot. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Got it very tight. Oh, great submission defense. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-44, 50-42, and 50-43. Played the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Islam Makhachev. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight. After five rounds, the heavyweight champion remains the same. Congratulations to the baddest man on the planet.